good day. In this video, we're going to actually convert between different lengths. This is typical conversion you need to do in grade 4. And let's see if we can do it with understanding. And let's see if I can program a certain method that you might enjoy to make it easier for yourself. If there is any videos or any mathematical specific problems that you have that you want the video made for, please feel free to send an email to this address or send uh, SMS to this number. Um, and we will try and make you a video as soon as possible. Enjoy the video. Right, you must have patience with the technique I'm going to use now. We are going to try and teach you a technique that will work all the way up to until we get later, you won't even understand now, to cubic conversions. We're not even going to try that. So we're going to use one method all the way through. So let's start and let's see, that's why I'm going to do quite a few sums. I'm going to do the story over and over. Right, the first conversion we're going to do is 4 centimeters to millimeters. The question you must ask is who's the big one, who's the small one. I'm going to show you as I talk every time. So centimeter is the big one, millimeter is the small one. You know in the back of your mind that one centimeter is 10 millimeters. Right, then you ask, do I have enough centimeters to make millimeters? Yes, so I have 4 centimeters that makes this 40 millimeters. I wrote in the answer, then here we have 7 centimeters. We ask which is the big one, which is the small one. The centimeter is the big one, the millimeter is the sh sh small one. So do we ask, do we have centimeters? Yes, so for every 1 centimeter we'll have 10 millimeters. That's why the answer is 70. I try and stay away of this times 10 and times 100 and all those things. Get a feeling on this. The next one is 32 centimeters. So do I have centimeters? Yes, for every centimeter I'll have 10 millimeters. That makes the answer. I wrote down both the following answers because for every centimeter we have 10 millimeters. You should have a feeling on this now. So this one you can understand. Here we have 148 centimeters. Do we have centimeters? Yes. And for every one of them we have 10 millimeters. So I write the answer over here. From here your fraction starts kicking in. And by now you should know what a half is in grade 4. So a half centimeter is the half of that 10, which means we will have 5 millimeters. Here it's asking two and a half centimeters, so that's two centimeters, which is 20, plus the half, which is five. Put them together. That makes it 25 millimeters. Now what else is very important for me is try and while you are doing this conversion, especially in this video, to keep your units underneath each other and then your 10. Get a feeling on this because eventually that will help us with the decimals next on the, on the videos when we get to grade six. But just try and stick to this and try and get some order. Right, now we're going to do conversions from meters to centimeters. You must know, like we said on the previous video, that there is 100 centimeters for every meter. Please remember that, try and work it out, that's one thing you need to know. So if I have 5 meters, I'll have 500 centimeters. For 27 meters, for every meter I have, I will have 100 centimeters. So I just put two knots at the back there. This one is even more, still just going to put two at the back here for every meter we have 100 centimeters and that's quite a lot of centimeters it's 11,300 now we're going to the practical combinations with fractions again a half meter one meter is a hundred so the half of a meter should be yes 50 centimeters two and a quarter meter so two meters is a hundred plus a hundred and a quarter, you need to remember that a quarter of 100 will be 25. So this is 200, and this is 25 centimeters. This one says 7 and a fifth meter. That means it's 7 meters, 700. And a fifth, you need to know your fractions. Is you take 100, and you divide it into 5 equal parts, which then gives you 20. So the final answer is 700 for this, and 20 for the fifth. It's very important not to feel upset if you don't understand these fractions totally. This one I think you should be able to handle, but from the quarter and the fifth, don't break your neck, that's not the purpose. We want to get to the basics over here. Right, now we are going to do millimeters to centimeters. Remember what I said, you say, who's the small one, who's the big one? A centimeter is big, millimeter is small. I have small ones, you ask, do I have enough small ones to make a big one? Yes, I need 10 millimeters to make a centimeter. Then I say how many 10s are in here? And that's then 8. That gives me my 8 centimeters over here. 
and from here you must hold your bearings. The question is, who's the small one, who's the big one, and there's some other nonsense here, leave it for a minute. Then we say, the millimeter is small, the centimeter is big, then you say, do I have enough small ones to make a big one? Yes, I need a 10, I've got a lot here, so I can make 6 centimeters, so I write it down. That's right. So we have six centimeters over here, and we have three millimeters. That's too small to make another centimeter. And that means we will then write our three over here. That's left. So we have three centimeters and three millimeters in 63 millimeters. Get a feeling on this. The next one, the small ones, the big one. Centimeters is the big one. Do we have small ones here? We have a lot of them. Do we have enough of them to make a centimeter? Yes. There is 156. Now that 9 is too few. So this 15 over here will be the amount of centimeters we will have. I do not want you to divide. Try and get a feeling on this. So 15, the 150 millimeters will give me 15 centimeters. That's 15 centimeters, which would have been 150 millimeters. Still got that 9 millimeters hanging on there. So that's going to go over there. Careful, the next one we're going down again. We've got 35 millimeters, centimeters. Do we have enough millimeters to make a centimeter? Yes, we only need 10. So here we can get 10 and 10 and 10. That's 3 centimeters I can get out of here. So that means I've got 3 centimeters. That's 30 millimeters. And I've got that extra 5 millimeters holding on. Now be careful here. This is where we're going. This is not totally necessary for grade 4, but let's try it in any case. You can also write this as centimeters only. But that is not part of this year's syllabus. We just want you to get the feeling here. So in other words, if is there, how many centimeters can you actually see in here? I can see the three over there. I'm going to put a comma over there and the five will just hang on at the back. That's not our intention. I'll, I will do a few of them along the way this year. But it's not the intention. We'll do that next year and the year after that. Next one, we've got 75 millimeters. Do, small ones, big one. Do you have a lot of small ones? Yes. Enough to make millimeters? Yes. I only need 10, so I've got lots of 10s here. So that's going to give me 7 centimeters and 5 millimeters left. Then again, you can see actually there is the 7 centimeters that we have, and that is extra. And that's how the decimals will work. We will write a 7, 5 centimeters. This is not decimal, so don't go there. I want you to get a feeling. If you don't understand the decimals, just leave it now. It's not part of the syllabus, but it's still good to have it in already for the stronger kids. All right. I wrote the key for us up here again. Just to remind us, we're working here with centimeters and meters and so on. Just to remind you, one meter is 100 centimeters. So now we have to convert. We ask, who's the big one? Who's the small one? That's the big one. So do we have enough of the small ones to make a big one? Yes, we need 100 centimeters to make one meter. In here is quite a few hundred. So there is 1,200. So it makes it 12 meters. The next one, do we have enough centimeters to make a meter? Yes, we need 100 centimeters. We have five of them over here, 500, so that makes it over here. We will have five meters, and there will be six, 78 centimeters. That's too few to make, and that's why that will be written over here. Try and see what I see. There is 500 centimeters, which is the five, and then there's 78 centimeters at the back. Let's try and not multiply and divide. Let's see this thing coming at you. The next one here, do we have enough centimeters to make a meter? Definitely. That 42 is too few, so everything in front there. So if I put two nodes there in my brain, I can see I've got here 23 meters coming at me. Get the feeling? These two nodes is place of those place over there. And then that will be 42 left over. So remember, that is your 22 that I got from over there. And there's 42 centimeters left over there that can't make a meter. Over here again, do we have enough centimeters? Yes, we have over 100, quite a few hundred. There's 800 over here that makes a certain amount of... That would, that's that 800 that I see over there. And there's 50 centimeters left. Don't get afraid now with this next answer. We're going to bring in a decimal set a little bit. We will put a comma over there between the 8 and the 5 because you can see there's going to be 8 meters and that's going to be the rest. Don't shift the stuff up. Just watch the answer. And that is what the answer will look like. Let's take the next one. Do we have enough centimeters? Yes, we have a lot of centimeters. It's actually that 14 meters I can see over there and that's going to be the centimeters left. So here yeah, they want just 18 meters, so this is a little more complicated. It's a friend of this one. So let's try it. This is not, not everybody doesn't have to understand this. Let's see what you write. 
Here is our last answers. There's the 14 over there. Comma went in there because that's our 100, 1400, and the 50, that's too few. And there's a 400 over here, which is 4 meters, and the 25 over there, comma 25. Right? Now we're converting between meters and millimeters and backwards and forwards. Quickly, just a reminder for the key. One meter is a thousand millimeters. We need to know that basics, then we can do the sums. Got one meter over here, so that gives me a thousand millimeters. Just remember the question. You say, who is the big one and who is the small one? Then you say, how many small ones fit into a big one? That's the key. There's a thousand. Then you say, do you have a big one? Yes. Do you have more than a yes? So a thousand for every one of them. And that's where you get the next answer. But the next one is a half a meter. So that's a half as big as that, so it's a half of that. Good, which is 500. The next one says here, you've got six and a half meters. So for every one meter, we have a thousand, and a half a meter is 500. Right, that gives me 6,500. The next one is fractions again. Don't get afraid there. This is a quarter of a meter. So that's a quarter of a meter, which is a quarter of the millimeters. So a quarter of a thousand is 250. Now, don't give up on the next one. This is 7 meters. Now, think for yourself. 7 meters is definitely 7,000 millimeters and 80. Be careful what you write. Get the feeling on what I wrote over here. We're going to change it now. It shall then finally look like this. The last one here is 7 meters and 15. There's definitely 7,000 millimeters there. And then that loose 15 over there. Do not break your neck on these bottom four this is the basic ones of grade four actually it's good if you start coming into the feeling of these now the last group for this video is we're going again of millimeters to meters backwards and forwards let's see what goes on right over here we have five thousand millimeters the meters i said who's the big one this is the meters the big one this is a small one do we have a lot of small ones yes enough to make a meter yes we need a thousand millimeters here we have five of them so the answer here is five don't be afraid now. This one is the same story. Do I have enough millimeters to make a meter? Yes. We need a thousand millimeters. There is a thousand over there. So I can make two meters over there and the remaining numbers will be my millimeters. Get the feeling now that every thousand makes you the meters and what's left is the millimeters. It's quite nice, eh? Here we have enough millimeters to make a meter. There's actually 3,000 and more. So here we will have three meters and we will have 500 meters left so it'll give us this answer and don't be afraid of this one it's not part of your syllabus in grade four yet but get the feeling i'm going to put a comma over there that says three meters and then the rest stays just hanging on to the decimal there the next one here is do we have enough millimeters yes there is a thousand millimeters in there i'll make one meter some millimeters and the answer so that'll be the one meter from over there and the 250 millimeters is left. Just get the feeling on this. So that's 1,250. If they ask you to only answer in meters, it won't happen in grade four. And then this is the same again. Yeah, they're only asking us this difficult answer. So there is a 6,250 meters. The thing in front of the comma is the whole meters. And the stuff behind it is what's left over. Enjoy this section. Enjoy conversions.